ऋषि वशिष्ठ अप्रोच द फोर्ट गेट्स ऑफ अयोध्या Yet Vasisht was brooding as he walked slowly towards the massive Grand Canal that encircled the ramparts of Ayodhya, the impregnable city. Wealth pouring into Kosla, spark construction spree, massive temples, palaces, public bath, theaters, and market places were built. One among them was the Grand Terrace that overhung the inner banks of the Grand Canal. It was a continuous colonial structure built of red sandstone, sheer poetry in stone. These buildings were a testament to the power and glory of Ayodhya. The canal had been built a few centuries ago during the reign of Emperor Ayodhya by drawing in the water of the Feshti Sarai River. Its dimensions were almost celestial. It stretched for over 50 kilometers as it circumnavigated the third and the outermost wall of the city of Ayodhya. One of the main purpose of this canal was militaristic. Kaushalya, the queen was happy. Kaushalya, the mother, was not. She understood that Ram should leave the Ayodhya palace. Emperor Dasharatha had blamed him for the horrific defeat he had suffered at the hands of Ravan. On that day, Ram was born. Till that fateful day, he had never lost a battle. In fact, he had been the only unbeaten ruler in all of India. It would be best if Ram left the palace with Rajguru Vasista. Gurukul means Guru's family, but in practice, it was the residential school of Gurus. The princess would return the home for two nine days holiday, twice a year during the summer and winter solstices. It had been three years since they first left for the Gurukul. Ram spent most of his time even on holiday with Guru Vasista. Bharat, on the other hand, was strictly confined to Kaikai's chamber. Lakshman rush of moving down the corridor Small islands had been constructed within the grand canal as well as on which the temples had been built 